so here we have uh, these three items uh, conditionally formatted, but the entire row has been highlighted. Similarly, uh, uh, you have one uh, category uh, highlighted, but uh, this is for uh, negative format. So basically there are two rules here, one for positive values and one for negative values. So where the sales is more than 3 million, we are using a green formatting. Where the sales is less than half a million, we are using a red format. Now, let me show you how these rules have been created. So pretty much it's all based on rules, but where we earlier said, you know, you go and apply this to sales, uh, you had to go and change it to apply it to uh, the entire row. So when you do that, based on the sales number, if the condition is uh, met, it applies to the entire row. And the same thing here, right? Even in the other conditional format, you basically go and apply it to the entire row. Now, if you want to apply it only to the row headers, so what are row headers in our case? Our row headers are uh, these three category names. And even though it's in a hierarchy, it's only going to highlight the category that's uh, most close to the table. So again, this is where I said that you write one rule and you kind of control, um, you know, you can even control whether you want the text to apply in bold. You don't have to use, you know, one rule for background color, one new rule for font color and so forth. I can even decide, you know, how, what kind of border to apply to these cells. So let me uh, change it back to rows and let me move to the next example. So again, format row header is something, uh, the next example is something that we just saw. All you need to do is go to the settings and say that, hey, apply the format just to the row header.